Hello and welcome to another blog highlight video. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist, and this week's blog is on what I learned by completely blowing my first informational interview. Now, we do a lot of public webinars and talk to a lot of PhDs, and, and there's still a, a, a large proportion of you who do not know what informational interviews are. Um, even if you do know what one is, obviously, you, you know, it, 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 at least generally that you talk to somebody, you ask them about their current position, or you work towards a referral, etc. Uh, a lot more goes into having a successful informational interview than you might think. What I love about this article is it talks about somebody's um, experience having their first informational interview and having it not go very well, and it talks about what they learned, including that you need to start by reaching out to people that you already know. Uh, you know, don't dive into the deep end right away if you're not ready and set up an informational interview with someone, you know, at, at the top company that you want to work for until you've practiced a few times. Practice on people that are in your lab. Practice on a family or friend. And then practice on somebody who you know, who you're already connected to, and just find out more about their, about their position. Don't overthink it. Don't think that you have to go find somebody that you've never talked to, an employee that's worked at a company to start. Just find somebody in your current network working at a company that maybe you're not even interested in. But this is a great way to, you know, to get your feet wet, to try out uh, your first informational interview. Um, and don't begin your messages, even if you're, doing a pra you're setting up a practice informational interview or a real one, don't start your first message to the other person as, hi, I'm a PhD and blah, blah, blah blah, 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 right? Don't start by talking about yourself. Don't start by asking for things. You want to ask about them. Ask for their opinion, their advice. Congratulate them on their career progress. Um, you know, the person you're talk talking to is likely in a job. Congratulate them. Say, how did you do it, right? Just start off very, very simple. Um, don't start talking about yourself. Uh, uh, something else in the article, there's very specific details. It, there's, there's templates in this article. That's why I recommend you, you checking it out because you can just copy and paste the template, change the names, and there you go. You have everything you need to set up your first informational interview. Um, but you'll notice that the templates in the article, the first time you reach out, you need to send very short messages, 100 words or less. Right? We see today, especially, people are just not responding to long messages. And then finally, ask time-dependent, very focused questions. A lot of people, when they're reaching out for their first informational interview, especially as PhDs, they might list a bunch of questions they want to ask beforehand. Don't do this, right? It's going to be too intimidating. They might ask an open-ended question like, are you available sometime in the near future for an interview? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't call it an interview. Just make it simple. Say, hey, do you have five minutes next week to talk on the phone? I have two questions I want to ask you. Make it specific and simple, right? Make it focused. That's what I mean by simple. So you'll say, you know, next week, do you have five minutes? So it's a time-dependent request. And you're actually telling them, oh, it's just two questions. Don't start your first informational interview with somebody by asking them 100 questions. Um, this article will go into a lot of details on the types of questions that you should ask, too. Um, and we have other materials on this. So uh, make sure you check out this article. Make sure you check out all of our articles on informational interviews because they are the single best way to start getting job referrals, which is the single best way to start getting interviews and to get hired in industry. Um, until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.